Hi, I'm Joe James. If you're like me, over the past few weeks, you've seen your portfolio kind of take a pounding because of the coronavirus. I just wanted to update you on what I've done to counter the crash in the stock market and hopefully take advantage of it and make some money out of it in the long run. So year to date, as of April 14th, the Dow Jones is down 18%. The S&P 500 index is down 14.5%. The NASDAQ is down 8.7% and I'm down only 6.5%. So I'm still down, of course, but I'm not down nearly as far as the major indices. I'm way beating the Dow Jones Industrial Average. How am I doing that? Let me explain that. First, going into the downturn, I did two key things. First, I sold off a lot of equities. I had a lot of stocks already in my portfolio, and I sold a lot of those to get some cash in my portfolio. I wanted to have about one third to one half of my portfolio in cash and I got about a third of it. So I had a lot of cash to work with as the market was going down. That helped me prevent those losses that I would have had if I had held those stocks. And it also freed up cash so I could snatch stuff up when it reached a lower point. However, one thing I regret is that I shouldn't have sold some of my Amazon. I still have about $200,000 worth of Amazon so I'm not crying about it. But I did sell off some of my Amazon, and Amazon has performed really well over the past few weeks. The second thing I did is I bought some 3x bear funds. I'll explain what these are in a second. I didn't buy a lot of that. I put only maybe 10% of my portfolio in 3x bear funds. As it turns out, I didn't buy those very good timing. I didn't make very much money out of it. In fact, I about broke even on the bear funds, so that didn't help me much. But if I had acted more quickly, I probably could have made some money out of that. Uh, on the upturn, I did two key things. First, I bought index funds and some discounted stocks. When the market wasn't necessarily at a bottom, we don't even know yet if, it, if it's reached a bottom or if it's going to tick back down. But I know that I bought close to the bottom because I, I bought about a week ago, and the market since then has been on an uptrend. So I snatched up a lot of good stocks and index funds when the market was at a very low point, down about 30%. The second thing is I bought some selective 3x bull funds. Again, no more than 10% of my portfolio, and I'll explain to you why in a second. So what is a 3x bull and a 3x bear fund? Well, you probably already know that a bull fund is something that is going to go up when the market goes up, and a bear fund goes down when the market goes up. In other words, it does the opposite of what the market does. 3x means that it's going to move three times as much in that direction. If the S&P 500 index goes up by 1%, the 3x bull fund for the S&P, the XPXL, will go up 3%, three times as much as the S&P 500 in the same direction. The corresponding index on the bear side, the S&P 500 bear fund, SPXS, will move three times as much as the market and in the opposite direction. So if the market goes up 1%, it will go down 3%. So you can see that these are a good way to either make a lot of money or lose a lot of money very fast. So if you put all of your money in a 3x fund and the market basically moves in the opposite direction of what you predicted, and it moves fast in a short amount of time, then you can lose half of your savings overnight practically. So you need to be very careful with these. That's why I don't put very much money in these. However, I don't buy options. I basically use these instead of options. When I feel very confident that the market's going to go up, I will invest a little bit of money in a 3x bull fund, knowing that I can get a better return than if I had just bought a regular index fund. So right now, I have a fair bit of money, probably 10% of my portfolio, in these funds. The S&P 500, the tech, TECL, the financial, FAS, the NASDAQ 100, TQQQ, and an energy fund, the XOM, which is only a 2x uh, bull fund. So I currently have money in all, all five of those a little bit. And as the market goes up, I'm making pretty nice returns on those funds. The bear funds, like I said, I did dabble in these bear funds when the market was going down, but my timing wasn't very good. So I bought pretty late, and then I sold them at a loss, some of them. Uh, I basically broke even on my investments in these bear funds. So again, you have to be careful. It's very hard to time this right. These things move very fast. You don't want to hold them usually for more than a few days. In addition to the 3x bull funds that I have a little bit of money in, 
I put a lot more money into some index funds and some big stock picks. So I picked out these eight stocks that I've dumped some money into, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Boeing, Southwest Airlines, which is LUV, Kroger, a supermarket chain, Home Depot, Levi's, which makes clothes, and Wynn, which is a casino. Now, there's a reason why I picked these. One, they're badly undervalued. They're not just down a little bit. A lot of the tech stocks are down a little bit, but most of these stocks are either banking-related or retail-related. They were really punished by the market. So they, they were down as much as 30% when I bought them. So it's a pretty big discount that I got on these stocks. Some of them I've already made a really great return on. Uh, Levi, for instance, I'm already up 30 or 40%. Now, Wynn is heavily exposed to the China market, and China is recovering faster than the U.S. So my expectation is that Wynn will be kind of a leader in the recovery in terms of my portfolio. Anyway, I like to pick blue chip stocks, uh, larger companies that are stable. They have access to a lot of resources. Uh, they're really not going to go away. And if I hold them long enough, I'll get my money back out of it. I didn't buy these as short-term investments. My intention is to hold them for at least a year, maybe more, uh, to get a good return, maybe double my money or make 50% or whatever. But I don't want to sell them again a week later. So regardless of whether they go up or down next week, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters is where are they going to be a year from now? And my expectation is that all of these will be higher. On the fund side, I also picked, in addition to the 3x funds I already explained to you, uh, I put a lot more money into these index funds. So SPY is just an S&P 500 index fund. I already have a lot of money in S&P 500 index fund and NASDAQ index fund, but here I dumped a lot more money into the S&P 500 index fund SPY and the NASDAQ index fund QQQE. And my reasoning is that while the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 are down say around 20 or 25 percent, it's a really good time to buy those index funds because a year or two years from now, they're most definitely going to gain back what they've lost. It may take a couple years, but they will. ERX is a 2x energy fund that I showed on a previous slide. I have some money in that. It's a leveraged fund that's going to move 2x of the market movement. And XRT is a retail fund. And the reason I bought that is I think the retail stocks are really heavily punished. They're down very sharply. And I kind of bought it at, mm, let's say, a 40% discount from what they were at two months ago. So my gut feel is that XRT probably has some room to recover. It doesn't have a whole lot more room to go down because I don't think retail is going to go away altogether. The retailers would just have a couple of bad quarters. So eventually XRT, maybe if I hold it for a couple of years, it will definitely be a gainer. So that is what I'm doing in the stock market to hopefully mitigate my losses and maybe over the two-year term make some decent returns on my investments while buying things while they're cheap. I hope this helped you. Uh, I don't pretend to be an expert in investing and uh, you should obviously seek other advice before making decisions and be extremely cautious with these 3x bull and bear funds because those are very leveraged and very dangerous investments if you're not careful. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.